Nancy here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create these really cute summer popsicles. And what I like about these popsicles is that they're really easy to make, take about five minutes, and they're perfect for the summer weather. And I'm really excited to show you guys how to make them. So let's get into the tutorial. Supplies that you will be needing today are a rainbow loom, a hook, I prefer metal tips because the plastic ones break more easily, but with this design, I don't think you'll have to worry. So either hook will work. You'll also need bands in the colors of brown, white, if you want to do the little frosted tips at the end, you can use white, or you can just use your regular base color. And of course, your popsicle color. Today, I'm using lime green. So. To get started, we're going to be taking our rainbow loom and start at the top. Be sure your pegs are in the staggered rainbow loom configuration. And what we're going to be doing is taking a <clears throat> base color or popsicle color and we're going to be taking two and placing them like that. We're going to do the same on the other side. So, and now we're going to go down twice. And then we're going to go down twice on the other side. And we're going to go down twice in the middle. Alrighty, and now what if you want you can just keep on adding one last row um, if you don't want the frosted tips but I like the look and so I'm just going to be using my white and I'm just gonna go like that just put one row of white on the bottom so now that our design is almost placed on the loom we're just going to make the popsicle stick which will be two rubber bands. By the way, this entire design is two rubber bands, um, besides the cap band, which I'm going to show, and the center bands. Like that, so we're just going down twice. Now we're going to be creating the cap band on here, and you're going to wrap this single rubber band around three or four times, um, Four would give it just a tighter look. All right now that I'm finished with that, I'm going to take a single white rubber band and instead of going normally like you would like that, instead we're going to be going up, around, and reclaim. It gives it a better look and that way the cap band doesn't hang out of the creation. Then we're going to take another single rubber band and create another triangle. And now in the base color, just create another triangle rubber band. Alrighty, now that we are finished with that, um, we are going to take our hook and go to the bottom of our loom and dig in past the cap band and grab the bottom two rubber bands and hook up, creating a teardrop shape. Then we're going to do the same and just keep on hooking upwards. Like so. And now we're going to do the other side. It doesn't matter which side you start on. Just go past the cap band and the horizontal band and just grab the bottom two rubber bands. Like that. And then Go diagonally into the center. And then finally, we're going to go one last time on the opposite end. Also, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but if you would like a cherry on your popsicle, I don't know why, it could be an ice cream cone, um, then you'll need one red rubber band. But if you just want to make it a keychain or just a regular popsicle, you can just hide that slip knot 
All right, now that we are done, I am going to um, place the cherry slip knot or keychain link, whatever you want to call it, onto the um, peg that's holding all of our end rubber bands. So when attaching your slip knot, you're going to go into this peg with all the rubber bands and place your hook on the outer end right here. Grab your hook, place the rubber band on your hook and slide it up and through. Then reclaim. And now, just to finish off, we're going to put the bottom rubber band on your hook or the bottom loop and slide it over the other end and then reclaim. All right, so now just tug it tightly so that it doesn't come off. And we are going to now uh, unhook all of our creation or take it off the loom. And be sure to be careful with this when doing it because your bands can easily snap. So I'm just gonna carefully take these off the loom. Alrighty, so now I have my popsicle and it's looking a bit deformed, so just be sure to stretch it out a little bit. And you can hide the rubber bands like this that are kind of sticking out in your creation. Like that. And now we have our really cute popsicle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate um, you watching and learning this tutorial, it means a lot, and be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to make Rainbow Loom Branch and, um, a ton of other creations, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!